Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Ayan and welcome back for another video tutorial in Math 9. This video is about proportion and application of fundamental theorems of proportionality. I will be guiding you on how to answer learning task 1 and 2 sa inyong mga learners packet. Okay, so let us focus first on the definition of proportion. Proportion is an equation that shows that two ratios or fractions are equal. So let's say our ratio is A is to B and C is to D. At sabi sa ating definition, these two ratios are always equal. So because two ratios are involved, automatically we always have four terms. So itong A, B, C, at saka yung D. Now the second and the third terms are called the means, while the first and the fourth terms are called the extremes. So yung B at saka C, mga means daw yan, at yung a at saka D ay mga extremes. This whole thing is what we call the colon form of proportion. So actually, we have two forms of proportion. So itong colon form ay pwedeng matransform into this form. And this form is what we call fraction form of proportion. Okay, so ganun pa din. Yung second at saka yung third terms ay mga means. Tapos yung first and fourth terms ay mga extremes. So, ang importante dito ay alam nyo i-identify kung ano ang mga means at anong mga extremes mapakolon form man ito o fraction form. Now, let us answer learning task 1. Ito yung nasa leap uh, module ninyo. May konting babaguhin lang ako sa mga given para masubukan nyo rin pong isolve kung anong mga nandyan sa inyong mga learners. Bakit? Okay, so learning task 1 directions answer the following accordingly. So question number 1. How can you say that the enlarged piece of drawing is proportional to its original size? Okay, so for example, we have here an enlarged drawing of a house and on its right side naman ay yung original size drawing of a house. So paano daw natin masasabi na itong dalawang ito ay proportional? So the answer is if the ratio of the measurements of the original size of drawing is equal to the ratio of the enlarged piece of drawing, then they are proportional. Okay, so ngayon alamin natin kung equal nga ba ang ratio ng mga measurements ng original size na drawing at yung large drawing. So ang given measurements niya dito ay yung height niya ay 558 inches tapos yung width naman daw niya is 744 inches dito sa enlarged drawing. Tapos, yung ratio naman ng original size na drawing, yung height niya is 6 inches, tapos yung width naman niya is 8 inches. Okay, so paano natin ma-check kung proportional silang dalawa? Gagawin lang natin ay kukunin lang natin yung product ng mga means at saka yung product ng mga extreme. So, ganito. So, yan. So, 744 times 6. Mumultiply mo lang yun. So, the answer is 4,464. Tapos, yung product naman ng extremes. So, five times, uh, 558 times 8 is equals to 4,464. So, as you can see, equal lang kanilang product. So, therefore, they are proportional. Okay, next. Number 2 question. How can we relate the number of liters of fuel we put in the car tank and the cost we will pay? If 1 liter of gas costs 46 pesos, how much do you think is 3.5 liters? Okay, so here's the answer. The cost that we will pay depends on the number of liters of fuel we put in the car tank. Okay, so totoo naman, di ba? Yung babayaran daw natin ay nakadepende sa number of liters of fuel na inilagay mo sa tank. So this means that if the number of liters of fuel you put in the tank increases, the cost you will pay also increases. Now, the question here is, if 1 liter of gas costs 46 pesos, how much do you think is 3.5 liters? So, paano natin ito isosolve? Una, lagay lang natin. So, 1 liter is to 46 pesos. Then, 3.5 over 8. So, ito yung hahanapin natin kung magkano daw ang cost ng 3.5 liters. So, guys, hindi ito pwede magkabalik. Tada! Tandaan, so dito sa unang given ratio natin, so ang nauna dito ay liters, number of liters, tapos dito naman yung cost. So pagdating dito sa pangalawang ratio, dapat kung dito ay liters sa numerator, dito rin ay number of liters din sa numerator. Tapos yung cost dito, so same dapat. Hindi sila pwede pagbalik na rin. Okay? So now, para mahanap natin yung value ng R, so ang gagawin lang natin is cross multiply lang din natin. So 1 times N. Okay, tapos yung isa, ganun din, 46 times 3.5. So, 1 times n is equals to n, and 46 times 3.5 is equals to 161. So, yun yung 
and natin. So, therefore, the cost of 3.5 liters is 161 pesos. Number 3, 4 out of 18 male students and 3 out of 21 female students failed on one of the weekly online tests. Are the ratios of male and female students who failed this test proportional? Why or why not? Sulat muna natin yung mga given ratios. So, yung sa male students, we have here 4 is to 18 or 4 out of 18 Tapos sa female naman, yung ratio niya dito is 3 is to 21. So you can see, naka-colon form siya. Pwede natin siyang i-rewrite into fraction form of proportion. So ganito para mas madali nating ma-isolve. Okay, so ang gagawin lang natin is i-cross multiply lang din natin ulit. So 3 times 18 and then 4 times 21. Okay, so kunin lang natin yung product, 18 times 3 is 54, and then 21 times 4 is equals to 84. Okay, obviously, they are not equal. The question here are ratios of male and female students who fail this test proportional, why or why not? Okay, so the answer is no, because as you can see, the ratios are not equal. Okay, now, let's have learning task number 2. Direction, solve the following. Number 1, use the proportion n is to b is equals to 7 is to 2 to complete each proportion. Okay, so, pero bago natin sagutan yan, let me discuss to you first the triangle proportionality theorem. It says that if a line parallel to one side of a triangle intersect the other sides, then it divided those sides proportionally. So, illustrate natin yan. Kung meron ditong triangle ACE at kung magkakaroon ng line segment dito sa loob na parallel dito sa isang side ng triangle. Let's say segment BD yun. Ang mangyayari, itong line segment BD ay hahatiin niya itong side AC at side CE proportionally. In other words, yung ratio na segment CB over segment BA is equal to the ratio of segment CD over segment BE. So, take note, kung ang ratio ay manggagaling sa isang side ng triangle, yung isang ratio naman ay manggagaling sa kabilang side. So, let's continue answering learning task number 2. Letter A, N is to 7 is equals to blank. Kung titingnan natin dito sa ating figure, yung N, yung longer length dito sa side ng triangle na ito, so yan, over 7, ito naman yung longer length dito sa kabilang side naman ng triangle na ito. So, para makuha natin ang kaproporsyon nito, punta tayo sa naunang binigay, which is yung N, dito banda, dito sa side ng triangle na ito. So, kukunin natin naman yung shorter length, which is yung B. So, over yung shorter length naman, dito sa kabilang side ng triangle na ito, which is yung 2. So, we will have E over 2. So, guys, what? Okay, so, hindi pwedeng magkabaliktad yan na So, hindi pwedeng 2 over B. Kasi kung mapapansin ninyo dito sa unang given natin, di ba, yung N over 7, unang, yung numerator natin na N dito kinuha sa unang side ng triangle. Kaya, yung numerator dito sa isang ratio natin, dapat dito rin mga gagaling, which is yung B. Tapos, itong denominator naman natin na 7, eto yun, ay kinuha naman dito sa kabilang side ng triangle. Kaya, yung shorter length naman niya ay yung 2. So, yan. Okay, next we have 2 over B. So, 2 over B dito sa ating figure, eto yun. So, 2 over B. Okay, so shorter length over shorter length. At para makuha natin yung proportion niya, pupunta tayo sa longer length nila. Okay, so, since dito ang unang binanggit sa given, dito muna tayo unang kukuha ng longer length, which is yung 7. So, 7 over and yung longer length naman dito sa pangalawa. Okay, so we have yan, 7 over N. Okay? The next letter, C. So we have B over N or B is to N. So ito yung B is to N. So shorter length over longer length sa magkaparehong side ng triangle na ito. Kaya ang kaproporsyon niya ay ang Shorter length over longer length naman dito sa kabilang side ng triangle. Yan. So, we have 2 is to 7 or 2 over 7. Letter D, we have N minus B over B. Okay, so saan yan dito sa ating figure? So, N, yan, yung longer length minus shorter length dito sa side ng triangle. Over yung shorter length. Over B, shorter length pa rin dito sa kabilang side. So, therefore, 
yung pa-proportion niya ay dito natin kukunin sa kabilang side. So, di- dahil na unang binanggit itong longer length, so una natin ilalagay ay yung longer length dito sa kabilang side ng triangle, which is yung 7. So, 7 minus 2 over 2, yung shorter length. So, 7 minus 2 over 2. So, yan, hindi pa tayo tapos. So, kukunin lang natin, isisimplify lang natin to. So, 7 minus 2 is equals to 5 over 2. So, yan yung final answer natin. So, ganyan lang ang gagawin ninyo sa learning task number 2, number 1. So, let's proceed to number 2.